God damn. Quite a look. Anyway, so I've been watching, I've been watching my video, especially on uh, on my bike, and uh, somehow, some word, I I'm a lack of words in these videos. It's like it's retarded. Uh, you know, the, the the whole thing is I have so many so many thoughts going on um, in my head when I shoot these videos, and I notice that every time I I start uh, to talk about something. I always drift off to a different subject, you know. One minute I'll talk about a battery, and the next minute I'll talk about a stealth bomber, and the next minute I'll talk about e right Pro, and after that I'll talk about Suran. So it's like I'm fucking mixing everything. So I guess my new goal in my videos is going to be just stick to one theme, to one thing, you know. But it's hard because there is a, a relation ship in between situations you know just to set an example of uh, you know anything uh but anyway uh god i want to talk about these these batteries <coughs> here we go with a cough i want to talk about these batteries um uh, on the e right pro um first of all i don't understand how the hell you're gonna do 5400 hours you're not gonna do a Bluetooth BMS. Look, <clears throat> everybody has different opinion about uh, a Bluetooth BMS, right? Uh, I know people that say, what the hell, you need a Bluetooth, it's fucking useless, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Okay, I mean, <clears throat> honestly, we never had Bluetooth before in our previous batteries, but um, I think it's a great uh, feature and kind of a, a great way of monitoring your stage of battery. Uh, you know, how depleted it is, how healthy it is, how does it respond on this shelves and, 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 and charge. Just overall, kind of like have a, uh, you know, uh, a teledoc that when something's wrong with your, with your cells or the battery, it kind of will give you kind of like a warning, like, listen, you know, this is this is what's happening. Oh, man, this traffic here sucks. Stop Tom Brooklyn. And, uh, you know, it would be, it would be a, a great idea because how do I know an e right Pro of where my battery stands? Like, am I charged at 84? Uh, you know, am I charged at 82? <clears throat> Are my cells like, you know, 4.2 fully charged? Are they, you know, balanced? Are they imbalanced? Like, holy shit. It's like, come on. Again, you know, this is not uh, an investment of, uh, you know, couple hundred dollars the battery itself if you want to replace it is two thousand dollars so it's not like you know a dirt cheap purchase that anybody could just throw out like i said you know most of the people that you know purchase these 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 bikes are you know in the early to mid 40s where they have some sort of source of uh, some sort of uh, source of income where you know it's not maybe as hard as it would be for for a teenager or a younger individual. So I don't know. Uh, secondly, the uh, there is no voltage monitor. It's like <clears throat> the problem is you have a percentage that shows you right, and you you don't have voltage. Now why would why would I need voltage? Why if, like anybody could say like. Dude, what, what what do you need your voltage for? Like that's that's not necessary. A battery doesn't have to have a voltage meter, uh, you know, monitor or whatever. Um, you know, and honestly, if if you look at your percentage, at one point your percentage could be hundred, and a couple of minutes later your percentage could be, uh, let's say, you know, ninety five. You know what I mean? So it it kind of it kind of I see I see that Saran. Let me see that Saran. Jesus, the guy's like all over the fucking road. No, that is a Saran. Oh my God, it looks so horrible. I know I don't look like that on Saran. Saran is so fucking small. Holy shit. And, uh, you know, no, no, uh, <clears throat> no pedal kit. And exactly what I mean that I'm speaking about something and I see something and I want to address it while I'm talking to you guys. So I saw Saran. Uh, I mean, it looks so small, so, so close to the, to the floor. It literally looks like a regular bicycle for babies. 
So I, I never saw or imagined myself purchasing Saron knowing that fuck, I look like a baby bike. You know, I don't want a 20 inch fucking huffy. You know what I mean? So I don't stay embarrassed. I think I think the E Ride Pro it, it looks again fucking hardcore. You know, um, you know I don't see myself only like a little baby. You know, riding around with a with a huffy. You know, tricycle. You know what I mean? <clears throat> anyway. Off the subject, right? So now, you know, I went ahead and I I installed a uh, a voltage meter, right? I had one previously on my stealth that wasn't really accurate. It was it was off uh, about one one and a half volts, which is which is acceptable, I guess, right? Um, and in these bikes, every volt counts. <coughs> but as long as I know it's one and a half volts. I can do the calculation. It's not a big deal, you know? Um, but it also shows me a percentage and it shows me a voltage. So the most important for me thing is <clears throat> it's the uh, the voltage, right? I know it's when I talk, my throat gets very dry. You know, that, that's that COVID shit. Anyhow, so <clears throat> I, you know, um, I believe... Uh, to run with their batteries, they only also show uh, percentage. They don't show, show voltage, right? Um, I think it shows on the uh, on the display, uh, the handlebars, the the voltage, which is pretty cool. So I understand how <clears throat> e Ride Pro did not include, you know, uh, a voltage, right? Um, so if you look, there is no way, no how, you can see what the voltage on this battery is on physically on the battery itself right what is the voltage what is the percentage of voltage nothing and again <clears throat> um you know thinking and looking at other builds from other bikes they all have voltage and they have percentage now you know i don't want e ride pro to go and copy you know cut every possible you know uh, uh retailer in uh in, in in the world but you know something is basics right something is basic like uh you know you have four tires in the car right um i mean something becomes basic at some time in in in, <clears throat> in production right <clears throat> so what is the main idea uh, and, and you know what's so what's the most important thing in the electric bike is the battery. <clears throat> what's after that is the controller. But what's after that is is you know is um, the hell happened here? It's it's you know it's the battery, is the controller, and is the motor, right? So you want to be able to Jesus, you want to be able to monitor your your battery voltage. You want to be able to be able to control your 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 temperature in the motor and also you want to be monitoring your you know application from from a controller right like um kelly controller has you know a nice application uh fire driver has a nice application and also uh, uh sabaton right now and if i was to speak about <clears throat> Kelly, Salvaton, and uh, Fire Driver. That will be another <clears throat> another video itself. But a lot of times I notice I would jump into that into that category and start speaking about it, coming off the subject of what we're talking about today, which is the battery. You know, and please don't fucking tell me there's a there's a tune for Fire Driver. There isn't. So stop that bullshit. There's no that's my tune. That's their tune. That's all I'm gonna say about that. It's bullshit. 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 Thank you. It's your preference, not your tune. It's your preference. It's, you see, it's my tune. Bullshit. Okay? It's, it's, a, it's a preference. You said it the way you like it. That's exactly what it's for. Custom. Anyway. So. <clears throat> so the whole thing is, you know, $2,000 battery. I, they, EI Pro need to improve it, right? You got to have a monitoring system physically on its battery. Okay? Um... You know, a Bluetooth would be a great, you know, great way to to improve, you know, the battery. Because, again, there were people 
that had a battery go bad on them. And when your battery goes bad on the E-Ride Pro, um, your display doesn't work because your display is literally connected to a battery, which can go figure, right? Why, why would that be the case? <clears throat> and I know because when you when you disconnect uh, on the uh, discharge port side, when you disconnect the skinny the skinny uh, uh, wire, right, your your headlight goes off and uh, your screen goes off. So that's connected together. I don't know why. I don't know we have a step down in this bike, you know, towards uh, 12 volt. It could be a small baby step down. What's this, Super 73? Yep. Ah, cute. Uh, for two people. Not bad. I mean, listen, guys, guys are, you know, people are, are you know, transporting. That's what they're using it for. And the problem is, again, I'm going to come off the subject. <clears throat> they're, they're, they're fucking mayor in the city I guess he doesn't want that they want congestion prices for fucking fifteen dollars so everybody going to the city has to fucking put money in a piggy bank because you know uh, the government give us just a little bit at, at COVID you know uh, recession you know what I mean it's like COVID everybody got money nobody worked everybody got money now we pay back for many 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 years to come right and that's the problem so why is it that, that the mayor is a hater and you know and it has all these agencies fucking us and taxing us left and right for services that they can't even maintain. Because these fucking roads are disgusting. You got one camera like here. You got a red light camera here. You got a speeding light camera. And one fucking block, you got four cameras. Why? Because it's downtown Brooklyn. Not that everybody speaks, but everybody goes through here. So the possibilities are fucking one million and almost 999 fucking thousand. So it's almost everybody's going to get a ticket over here in this intersection. Exactly what it is. It's a fucking, you know, fish and bait shit. You know what I mean? <clears throat> fucking disgusting. So for you to go to work, you're going to pay $15. And for you to go to work, you're still going to pay some sort of ticket or some sort of red light ticket or some sort of speeding ticket or fucking something. And then you got asshole, excuse my friends, fucking trucks. You guys got to see this. Cutting you off for no fucking reason. Like, come on, bro. You know you can't be here. Look at this guy. Wow, you're such a prick. It's not even funny. What an asshole, this fucking truck. Cutting everybody off. Holy shit, what a prick. Wow. Anyway, so like here, you gotta be like so, so aggressive driving. It's not even funny. So yeah, by the time you get to work, you, you, you're paying hundreds and thousands of dollars. Pathetic. Anyway, I put my uh, cruise control on. So... After all this fucking dilemma I just went through, this is this is when New Yorkers have to go early in the morning. Fucking be all pissed off and excited. See, I wish I could take my bike today, right? And my plan was that, but <clears throat> nowhere near was I thinking that I want to get up in the morning and get on a bike and do 55 miles an hour or 50 or 40 or whatever it is, but stay concentrated because obviously on a bike you have to be more concentrated than you are, you know, in a car, obviously, right? Um, but it's crazy. Going back to what I was saying, obviously, again, right? Interrupted like 30,000 times. <clears throat> so, you know, it, it would be useful and helpful if you had a voltage meter on it. It would tell you what voltage you want. <clears throat> so I pay $2,000 for the battery, right? Because <clears throat> that's what it costs. And I still had to fabricate, connect a uh, voltmeter for the battery to see at what stage am I sitting, right? And I had to calibrate it because it's not just the any voltmeter. I had to calibrate it because you can have a voltmeter for lead acid batteries, uh, lithium, lipo. I mean, there's, there's, you know, hundreds of different cells out there. Um, and, you know, you got uh, 15S, 13S, whatever, 20S, 24S, 22S. You got all kinds of shit. So it had to be calibrated. <coughs> so it's, it's somewhat accurate for the purpose we're going to use. Um, I want to see how low 
be right for Shedden. I I think I see that the battery the battery BMS is set at 65 volts. So at 65 volts, the bike is pretty much at like six percent and and it shuts off. That's its percent percentage voltage. Okay, that's the amount of voltage that she's going to shut you down at 65, which is great because 63 is like really playing with fire. 65 is it's okay. It's not below normal. It's just right there at the exact cutting point where 68 will be the sweet legal spot without stressing in itself. Again, everybody got a different myth, you know. Um, your cutoff should be at 72 volts, um, you know. Then somebody else will say your cutoff should be at 63, 65, 68. I don't know how you're going to tell me at 72 volts. I don't know. Like, okay, like the Chinese battery, at 72 volts, she's telling me that she's empty. Like, how the hell is that possible? It's a bullshit knuckle battery. Everybody that I know, and my BTR battery I've, I've used for, for a couple of years, you know, it never showed me that at 72 volt I was empty. It showed me at 72 volt, that was like 60%. So, I, I think the BMS is bullshit. Uh, I, I don't know. It sucks. It really does suck. I'm so, so pissed. But anyway, off the subject again, right? So please, e right Pro, you know, for that $2,000, you can make a bullshit improvement. That screen is like fucking dollar from China, from AliExpress. A fucking dollar, okay? To connect that screen to your battery is bullshit nothing. You already have the battery open. Unless, obviously... China builds the battery for you, so then you can do it. But you can order China and say, listen, we want all our batteries to have at least voltage system, monitoring system, right? So we're not telling you, you know, go install Bluetooth BMS, which Bluetooth BMS doesn't really cost that much. So if the main, if the main uh, item, the most important item in this bike is, is let's say the battery, right? Why don't you just spend a couple hundred dollars more? Charge the you know charge the consumer a couple hundred dollars more. But then on the other hand, I understand because you know you wanted to build a bike that is not overwhelmingly expensive um, and lacks some performance. You know, so I guess we we know that the bike's got bows because it hits sixty, and the torque is just humongous and ridiculous and just stupid fast. So yeah, you did a great job, but now it's time to slowly improve as you make the money on the sale, you know, of the E-Ride Pro. As you make the money, you you make also improvements, right? Um, you've done improvement on suspension, front suspension, rear suspension, uh, you know, sprocket, uh, drive shaft. You know, you've made a lots of good corrections and good improvements and uh, you know I'm happy for that and I'm behind it um, is battery something you should be addressing right away no not necessarily the battery performs great uh, you know it kind of sucks that it's 40 amp hour we already talked you know th talked and discussed about it it should be at least 50 um, but you know I guess if you keep it on eco you'll do that claimed 50 miles in range so Whoever wants to be doing 28 miles an hour and feel that silly motor stopping you, that's that's you, that's completely fine. We have never done a wrench test on uh, Eco, which I believe we should do wrench test on Eco. It's just, I, go, I can't see myself going 28 miles an hour on that bike for such a long time. That's just, that's just me, you know? And it's just, it defeats the point of having such a beautiful bike to go with a 28 mile an hour mark, you know. But eventually, I would want E Ride Pro to get around the corner, get off their asses, and you know, these expensive, really expensive looking batteries that, that everybody sells, you know, have that voltage meter, uh, you know. <clears throat> have that bluetooth i mean look it's not necessary to have the bluetooth because then like you know you look at your bluetooth like i have on my china batteries at my bluetooth it's very useful 
but then it's like it kind of sucks because every time you you know you want to you want to look to oh shit is my shelves balancing out I, I mean look it's 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 good to worry about a, a, a battery especially when you spend when you spend you know hefty hefty you know uh, money on it you want to make sure that uh, the battery stays uh, nice and healthy oh man I'm tired you know so but you don't want to catch yourself like glancing at the at the battery or at the cells like every five minutes when you charge it you know um, and also in regards to batteries 10 amps is beautiful I love 10 amps and obviously but it's just like you know the, the higher the better the bigger the better and it's not an American thinking I think 10 amps should be like mandatory by everybody because that bullshit five amps like five amp uh, an hour of charging is bullshit because you be sitting there till fucking you know World War Six with that battery to get it charged. Now people uh, are on a basis of charge and go, charge and go, charge and go, just like the cars. So, but here's the thing, right? I comment down below because uh, you know I need to know the answer. If anybody knows the answer, obviously, uh, you know I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know. Mr. EYC, you know, fucking lying out of my ass, trying to push a fucking merge and fucking kiss everybody's ass on fucking YouTube and no please, but but if you don't, you can you can you can uh, you can subscribe if you want to. Like you fucking begging on your asking on your telling. Like get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm sick and tired of both most you fucking fake ass people on on, on, on fucking uh, YouTube, you know, the Instagram and shit, you know. Anyway, I don't like that. I say it the way the fuck it is. You don't like it, well, just go go to a fucking different YouTube channel. Anyway, so um, it it you know it would be nicer if if you were able to charge or you know twenty amps, thirty amps, forty amps. But again, you get a two thousand dollar battery and you have no information. Okay, like you can Google the uh, Samsung uh, twenty one seven hundred, right? Well, you don't know which Samsung cells they used on this battery. So you can, in general, look, uh, you know, how high you can charge this battery. Because I can buy, I guess, a charger that can charge at 40, 50 amps, right? Um, you know, I can go to Tesla charger or, or charge point, uh, you know, station and, and charge up over there. But I can't charge higher than, excuse me. Uh, two, 240 volts and in that case the uh, the uh, the charger will probably charge me I believe at 14 amps or something like that which is still better than you know 5 amps you know um, but uh, again the issue is I've done a couple of videos on uh, EV charging stations and again you know, it was the EYC. He wants to be so fucking helpful to all the, you know, YouTubers and subscribers, but he doesn't even spend one second to tell you, you know, how do you go about charging and how do you go about, uh, you know, getting the connector, getting it going, and so on and so forth, you know? And then he gives you links like fucking $90 for a fucking uh, plug that you get from AliExpress, you know, for $20. <clears throat> or even even the charger that he has on the bike that, that you know, uh, you know, companies asking two hundred dollars, and literally AliExpress sells it for fucking seventy or eighty dollars, triple the price. Fucking you, fucking bending you over your fucking uh, <clears throat> knee and, and slapping the shit out of you, saying like, "Give me your money." They they fucking raping you. If they are paying eighty dollars for a fucking charger, charging you two hundred dollars, that's a hundred dollar fucking hundred dollar hundred percent fucking uh, profit. Fuck out of here. <clears throat> but. So yes, it would be nice to charge, you know, faster, but apparently everybody keeps it a fucking secret. Again, like everything, like, stop talking about, oh, I want bigger brake discs. I want fucking far driver that is 6,000 fucking, you know, uh, 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 volts and fucking 50 million fucking kilowatts. Like, fucking for what? Where you go? Fucking uh, 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 moon and back? Fucking idiots, for real. I hate being negative, but it's just something that seriously... Freaking pisses pisses me off. Where the hell am I? Yeah. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna finish this video because I'm getting upset. I don't like to get upset because I don't like fake ass people. Okay? But please, if you don't, if you want, subscribe. I get back to everybody. Fuck out of here. Later, guys.